So let's begin by getting one of the biggest lies that I have ever told my audience out of the way. Yo, you're ruining the reason. <laughs> Yo, I'm, today we're officially calling out Linus Tech Tips for putting up the worst red camera video that is on the internet. Fortunately, he just doesn't have a good grasp of what makes the red camera a good camera. Well, I mean, I also think he's making those videos because complaining about that sort of thing gets views. It's, you know, it does ref reflect on his, you know, personal opinion and his credibility as a uh, source of information. Printed a bigger skirt. It totally worked. This little piece here didn't break off this time. So it's on here like this, and when I found it, something got fudged. I don't think I loaded the plastic filament correctly. And I want to try making a mask. I want to learn how to print something like this out of something like that. I'm thinking of starting with this red hood helmet. I'm going to disregard all his individual pieces here, and I'm going to take his full mask model, I'm going to recut it myself, hopefully not screw this whole thing up. So there you go. <laughs> And this is about 10 hours into it. Ooh, that supports made contact. So I got the big skirt, I fixed the feeding issue, I think. The support printed. It didn't get unstuck from the platform. Sweet. Does it work? Ah, good one does this. It worked. Nice. Wow. All right. Got him. Oh, you got him? <laughs> got him, I love him. Did you get him on that crap? <laughs> <laughs> All I heard was Minecraft, and then ah! <laughs> it was sitting there. The game was sitting there. Because that's the only game you play. And I go, I'm just gonna say it. It was Minecraft, and he goes, got you. Uh, <laughs> Peter did the exact same thing to me the other day. So one nice. eighth of the mask. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Those plastic supports come off actually really cleanly. No 3D print video on the Semenico channel would be complete without a mention of Matter Hackers. They are the ones who supplied us with the Ultimaker 3, and they supplied us with this filament. If you guys are looking to getting your own 3D printer or getting some filament or anything else that's 3D printing related, go check them out. There's a link in the description below. Ta-da! Oh. oh. This is a 36-hour print. Let's see how it turned out. If you buy a camera for... 49,500 US dollars. Well, you should be done. It should come with a lens, a battery, a... We're lucky it has a freaking power button. Yeah, but it's it's also, the thing is, is that what that does is it echoes this idea of like, all right, what do I need to play a lot of good video games? And like, oh, take a, take a 1080 graphics card and you hold it and you're like, where's the screen? Just give me a MacBook, man. This? This is a $100 card reader. $100 for a card reader. They can give you such a great deal, $99.99 on the reader, is because they just bent you over a barrel on the proprietary media. Yeah, I should have oriented it a little bit differently because this is the front, now I have to sand all this down here. Can these supports uh, dissolve in water like the other? No, these are breakable, like they, I printed out the plastic can supports. You just yank it off? Look at I caught it with my foot on the way. Um, ah! Nope. Nico is very weak. I'm very weak. These two things. Oh, it's an eye. Oh, put the half mask on. Become half the hood. Yes. So look at me from this side. It's like I'm the red hood. And now I'm just regular Nico. Not bad at all. It better be really fucking good touch. Two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Look at this thing. Okay, it has four buttons. The iPhone has one, two, three, four buttons and costs less than half that much. So for the privilege of connecting a cable to my monitor, this is a two hundred forty dollar cable. What do you think, man? Should cables cost two hundred dollars? depends on the type of cable and what the purpose of that cable is. It's a proprietary custom-made Limo adapter that has 11 pins on each end, and it's made in America by a, a tech who literally makes probably about 10 or 20 of them every day by hand. Well, I assume they're really high quality. They're meant to do a very specific thing, that they have really good shielding involved, really high quality solder points. You know, the list can go on as to why that cable could be expensive. The Red's a really advanced camera. It's used by professionals. It's, it's made for people with a lot of experience with cameras and are looking for a very specific rig that is very high quality. So Red makes you buy an adapter from their proprietary interface to their bullshit proprietary cable and you spend $200 on each end 
plus $200 for this dinky ass cable to go between them. Did I understand this correctly? Red monitors are touch uh, sensitive, so you can sit there and fiddle with all the stuff. That's why it has special connections for the red monitor. Okay. But you can also sling on a small HD monitor with an HDMI or HD SDI connection and never touch a red monitor right. also. All right, so now I need to start joining together the pieces of my mask. And I was doing a little bit of research over the weekend, and I learned about something called friction welding. And basically, you need a Dremel and some of your plastic filament. You stick the plastic filament into the Dremel, and so the spinning of that filament, when you put it against another surface, will actually get really hot, and it'll melt the filament. And then you can melt it into the plastic seams between your object, effectively making one more little bit of 3D print to put it all together. It sounds like a really cool technique. I've never tried it before, and I'm going to see if I can use this to join the pieces of my mask together. It's not enough that they have their fist up your ass charging you $1,500 for a battery and a charger for the privilege of connecting the battery to the brain. Oh, you know what? It's probably like $300 spring. It's probably the best spring, the greatest spring. $950 for a handle. We've had to be recording to an external audio recorder for all the money we spent. It doesn't have an XLR input. It bugs me that he complained about all the knickknacks he put on the camera and all the things he had to get for it and how expensive it was. But the thing is, like, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna point out all the things that we didn't even get from the Red Store. Top handle, these top plates. He was complaining about XLR adapters. Look, a tiny little XLR adapter that plugs into the front. Look, the battery, it's a third party battery. And it's not because the Red stuff is bad, this fits our needs better. You don't need all that stuff unless you are building out a cinema rig that you are going to take to a multi-million dollar set and try and impress all the executives. And the bull accessories that they make you buy, $60,000 in hard drives to store all this crap on, another $20,000 in NVMe SSD so that all of our editors can edit red footage off of our NAS at the same time. And what do we get for it? 8K videos that nobody can watch because they don't have 8K displays. When you do your research, very usually what you need isn't every single thing from the store. Well, here's the other thing. So it's like, we see this a lot on with YouTubers who get like the fancy new red cameras out there. But I think they're making one fatal mistake, which is causing them to complain about not being able to edit it on their computer. In fact, Linus just recently had a video where he had to buy a $7,000 graphics card just to edit the footage Is it a shooting. graphics card or is it a red rocket? It's a red rocket. That's not a graphics card. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Thank you. I, I'm willing to bet everything that they're shooting at a really low compression ratio, causing very large files. Like, and they can't, they can't look at that stuff in real time. Even straight playback performance is abominable. It's a nightmare. Linus did say that he was having a look at the 8K footage at 1 8th resolution. Cool, uh, that's like 1080p. Right, yeah. but he was saying even at that, he wasn't able to get full well, real-time scrubbing speed. It's because it's a common misconception that red files are processor intensive. They're not. Red files are memory intensive because usually you shoot on low compression when you're doing high-end stuff. But here on YouTube, we're throwing it on the internet and it gets encoded uh, in basic internet compression. It doesn't matter because even our RED camera at its highest compression of like 23 to one is a better image than what you're going to get when you compress it for YouTube. High detail environments require very low to minimal compression for your footage. Everything else, crank it. A YouTube video that we put out that we shot with the RED that looks really good. Nerf Team Fortress, that looked great. That was 20 to one. 20 to 1. So this is really just a PSA to all red owners out there who are only uploading stuff to YouTube. Between 17 and 20 to 1 is a reasonable compression ratio yeah. to shoot at on the red. Yeah, also, you're going to go online to the red store and you're going to add all those items to your cart and they show up at your door and you paid for it all. Don't then make a video surprise about how expensive everything was when you sat there and you ordered all of it. Why did we buy two of them? So, you know, like I said, I'm not doing this for the final product. I'm doing this for the experience. And I want to make a smooth surface. Like if I ever have to join pieces of a model together, I want to know how to do that without leaving a seam. Unfortunately, you're not going to see the finished helmet in this video because this video comes out tomorrow. But if you do want to see the finished helmet, consider subscribing. It'll help you out following all the video releases we do. And you'll get to see the finished helmet the moment it's up. Hopefully be in a couple days. Not quite sure, but that's where subscriptions come in. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Take your, take your time and do it right. Do your research, do your right, use the right tools, don't cut corners.